Hello, I'm just going to do the recording because it's a little faster than texting. Thank you very much for taking the time out. I just want to ask you, um, when you are follow, following your purpose and, and um, all of your visions that are inside of you and you're actually stepping out your comfort zone, but nobody around you understands you, no family supports you, they don't share your posts, they don't go to the events that you're throwing, they don't help with the events, Nobody around you is even understanding why you're doing what you're doing because they're not going for it themselves. Where do you even find people, like-minded people? How do you start planning for something that you didn't even know you had inside of you and just until like a couple months ago? Like, where do you start with these things and how do you... I don't know, I just feel like I'm at a standstill. I kind of don't understand it. Good morning, humans. Bar Talk and Coffee. I played the audio for a reason. I get a ton of messages on a daily basis from some of the most brilliant, amazing, talented humans on this planet. And I try to get to everyone, and sometimes I just can't. And I happen to have had a moment yesterday where I was in a position with her permission to listen to her voicemail that she left me by way of via Facebook and to respond to her. And I shared that this morning on purpose. I um, I get really emotional um, when I hear um, someone like her so pure and with so much passion. I get very emotional because... I know what she's going through. I know the feeling of having a family member say I love you, a friend say I love you, and then be the most unsupportive person on your journey to finding what you, why you were here, to finding out why you were here. I gotta be honest with everyone, as a society, we cannot be this fucked up. As humans, we cannot be this fucked up. We can't be judgmental and unsupportive for on, of people that we say, I love you to. We can't be unsupportive. And when I say unsupportive, you guys, I'm not referring to any type of financial support. I'm referring to a pat on the back, saying, great job, saying, hey, I'm proud of you. I know I, I don't know exactly where you're going in your life, but you have a vision, and I'm proud of you for stepping up and going after what you want. Just because most people work for the 3% who never gave up on their dreams doesn't mean we have the right to shit on the people who desire to be a top 3%er, to be a job creator, to be someone who lives life with passion and on purpose. There are so many dead motherfuckers walking around this earth, mentally have died and clock into jobs that they hate and operate in a robotic state. And we have the nerve to be unsupportive to people who truly want to live life on their own terms. I don't get it. It is mind blowing to me. And the most ironic thing about it is the same people who will not support you on your journey will be the same people who ask you for a handout when you arrive at your destination. Hey, let me hold something. I see you. I see you. Oh, I see you making it happen. Hey, let me borrow something. Same people. It is, as, as a society, as human, as human beings, we have to change. We have to see things differently. We have to start thinking differently. I commend every person for stepping out and having the courage and the ability to go after exactly what they want because it is hard. It is not easy, it is hard, it is challenging, and at least people who know what they want in life, at least they have the courage to do it. Do not shit on somebody because you don't have the courage to go after exactly what you want. Be supportive of their of their cause. Be supportive, show up, give them a high five, tell them they're doing a good job, say I'm proud of you. You don't, Just because you're unhappy doesn't mean that you have to give your misery to everyone else. I... It blows my mind how many brilliant and talented humans we have on this earth who have their dreams knocked away from them because they have the most unsupportive people around them. And the unsupportive cast are their parents, are their family members, are their closest friends. 
Look at yourself. Find out what is missing in your life. Because when you find a way to be unsupportive and judgmental and talk about in a negative state of being someone else who's going after what they want, that means that you have an issue. That means that you have the problem. It starts with you. It starts inside of you. I know this bar talk was a little different, but it is time as human beings, like we have to make a change. We want to see changes. It doesn't come from who's going to be elected president in 2016 or who's, who the fuck is running. It's not the White House. It's not the government. It is us. We have to be the change that we want to see in this world. And it starts with supporting people who know what they want in life, regardless of if you understand it, regardless of if you want to even remotely if that's not your life and that's not your dream and your dream is to clock into a nine to five into a job that you hate, that's okay. I don't think that everybody in this world needs to succeed. I'm not going to sit here and do bar talk and coffee and act like I give two shits if everyone in this world succeeds because I really do not. But I care about the people who literally have the courage and the heart to be who they desire to be and to find out why they were put on this earth. I love you today. We got to make some changes, guys. We as humans got to be better. We have to become better. We can't, we can't keep, we got, we got to do more. And it starts with us. I love you. I love you so much. Bar Talk and Coffee. Like, comment, share this video, guys. Down and burst, be bold, be great, and above all, be you.